Hello guys, this is a quick tutorial to show you how you can put multiple tags in one single game object and we're going to, I'm going to show you two ways the first one is quicker to do but it's used on uh, and it's used on quicker stuff if you want just to make something real quick and we only need actually one more tag and not like like a thousand tags so say you have the first one will be like when you need only two tags in a game object the other one you can have more than two tags I mean both can both can do more than two tags but the other one is better because you just end up with less components anyways let's get started I have this sign over here I'm going to add a, a box color to it with a, which is a trigger and say this this sign has a tag I don't know call it finish I don't know something and now you want to this this uh, and now you want this sign to also have the tag sign and how can you do that? how can you check if this, the tag is sign if there's the tag finish there and you want that tag to be there? well the first way is that you create a new, a new script like I said you want to have a tag called sign you can just create a new script called sign tag Okay, and now in the player, all we have to do is whenever we hit into that trigger, check if that's if that has that sign tag. So I'm going to create a new script, uh, tags detector, and say you wanted to check for the trigger. Well, you will you will usually do just void on trigger enter to D. Collider to D, Collider to D, other, and you will check if other dot tag equals I don't know something uh, like I said sign, then do this. But uh, right now, like I said, we have this tag, so we can't use that. This will do nothing in this case, so uh, I have to just check if other dot get component sign tag isn't null and what this is check is if the other component meaning whatever it triggers so this sign has the sign tag so it may have or it may have not so if it's not null meaning if it does have it then I can debug here debug dot log has to uh, sign tag burn and now if I go onto it you'll see that here it says that it found the sign so this is working and it doesn't mean if this is on or off if it's uh, it will always find a tag so do it make it how you want as you can see it can find the tag as well and uh, so that was the first way now let me show you the second way so I'm going to copy to make another tooltip over here and delete this sign tag and add a, another script to it called tags new script tags create an app Okay, and now in this script, this script will actually only have only hold uh, uh, array of strings. So I may I'll make here an array strings array object tags or something else. I just can't name it tags, but because that's already the name of the class. Save. And I'll and now, oops, and now here all you have to do is change the number, uh, change the size to to the number of size of tags that you want. So you can have like three tags. I know this is wild wow tag, this is the sign tag, and this is the hello tag, something like that. I don't know. And now in the script of the player, the the, the text detector script instead of just Instead of typing this line, we have to do something a little bit 
more complex, but it's not that complex. So if other dot get component get component tags is not null again meaning if it if it has that script the text script then what you want to do is to get this variable the object tags variable and go through each one of these uh, strings and check it if it is a tag that you specified and so to do that I'll have to do this for each string uh, str or something else in the other dot get component tags dot uh, object tags because that's what we named it over here over here so this is for each so what this is doing is looping for for each for every is looping through this array until the end from the, from the beginning to the end so for each, we want to check if the string that we just saw is equal to sign. And if it is equal, then we can debug dot log has sign tag. So save. And now you'll see, so this has only the sign tag script and this has the tag script, this tooltip, and both work. So if I go into this one, you'll see it says that it has a sign tag. If I go into this one, you'll see that also has the sign tag. So as you can see, it's working fine. Uh, one final thing before we finish this one, uh, you can actually make this into a function to make it easier for search text so for some reason this last bit of the video didn't record so i'm just recording it here uh, i was editing and i just noticed that anyways to make that into a function it's really simple you just grab the code that was in there the if clause with, with a for each loop in there you grab it and you put it inside a function like this i called it check this tag function which has to receive the tag that you want to check and the collider of the object that you just collided with or triggered and then whenever you want to check if an object has a tag with this using this function all you have to do is is on trigger enter function call the function check this tag with the tag that you want to use to check in this case it's sign and with the object and with the collider to the that you just collided with and that's basically it Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Hello guys, this is just to tell you that I just reorganized this from the game folder that I shared uh, the links in the description. Now if you want to access a particular tutorial, the 21 or the 46 or whatever, it's just there and it's much easier to access. Anyways, goodbye.